Uh, my name is Marty Ferringer, and I'm a captain with the Lincoln Police Department. My name is Megan. I'm a nurse. I work for an OBGYN here in Lincoln. I nominated my dad because he's a hero both in his work and at home. He's an amazing father and um, leader in the community and he does so much for the past 30 years for Lincoln that I felt he deserved to be recognized. My dad growing up would work sometimes between three and four jobs and he never complained and he would always be smiling. He always had such an incredible work ethic that it was, it really had a profound um, meaning to me in life just to work very hard and do your best and be a good person. My dad started as a street cop running after criminals in his 20s. Um, he progressed into doing criminal investigations. Um, he was a school resource officer at Northeast at one time. Um, he was promoted to sergeant later on and now he's a captain in the police department and he's uh, overseeing Northeast Lincoln. Um, he really enjoys mentoring other police officers and helping people to grow and to be great leaders in the community and to make a difference for Lincoln. Um, he really has a passion for children and for families and um, he works with the Child Advocacy Center um, and he's also a LGBTQA liaison for Lincoln as well. I would say to him that I love him and that he's amazing and I'm so glad that he's my dad. Um, originally I think I was wanted to be a teacher and I uh, actually did a couple years of college to, to do that and then got the opportunity to go out and do some student teaching and realized that maybe that wasn't the best job for me. Um, I had an uncle who was a police officer in Aurora, Colorado, who was probably my favorite uncle growing up. And so that's probably what kind of drew me to it. Um, so changed my uh, major after my sophomore year. And uh, I was fortunate enough the day that I graduated from college, I found out that I got a job with the Lincoln Police Department. So um, I've been here now for just under 30 years. It'll be 30 years in September. Um, and it's, it's awesome. It's the best job in the world. Um, I think I am fortunate enough to work with some of the best men and women in the, in the uh, city. So um, people that are just committed to doing their job, helping people and making a difference. So that, to me, that's the best part of the whole job is just the people that you get to work with and then just uh, the, being able to make a difference to someone else. It's a very small police department to start off with. Um, you know, uh, the officers per thousand is probably the lowest of anywhere in the state, if not in the region. So what we've done is we've been able to leverage technology to be able to get us through, um, but at a certain point, you know, you've leveraged technology as, as much as you can. So um, we could use some more police officers, to tell you the truth, and I think that the last mayor, and the, hopefully the new, the new mayor, I think that they understand that and they're gonna do what they can um, to help us in that endeavor. But uh, I can tell you that the standards are very high. And, uh, you know, they, they want the best people that they can get. And they're going to do whatever they can to make sure that, that they get the best officers that they can. And, and we're going to hold ourselves accountable uh, when, when people make mistakes. And uh, I think you, you, you've seen that over and over, um, that that's happened. So I feel like I'm a very fortunate person, you know, um, to have such a, a, a job that I love, a family, you know, that I love. So it makes it easy um, to, to have a, a positive attitude. So I'm very appreciative of this opportunity. It's, it's hard, you know, I don't feel like a hero, you know, so that part of it's hard, but I am appreciative. Um, I know it means something to my daughter, so I, I thank you for that.